Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036 0703 768 Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Father, we come repeatedly that we your presence for your country, asking that you develop us in your presence. You the power of Christ to overshadow us, you decide to pass through and your moment of uh, no we biga we to see you and to hear you and to hear you that we are here for i know no go give me right people everybody that you have oh you open a kitor of your way every of the platforms that you are using up on a kid lead with you open your heart to us and so you have prepared for us in the treasures of eternity to you be glory forever Jesus Amen Amen began to note that the message that even the Father has for us on earth is Jesus. That Jesus is the way Jesus showing to us. Jesus is the truth that Jesus is revealing to us. Jesus is the life Jesus he will have us to collect and to live by. We noted that therefore to come to know Christ and him crucified is the desire of God for every one of us. And to live to present Christ and him crucified is the calling of our lives. That's the witness we should live to bear in order to correctly serve the interest of God on earth. Now, briefly, I would uh, like for us to read from Matthew's Gospel chapter 11. We will begin our reading from verse 25. And uh, I desire for us to read down to verse 30. The Bible says at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and you have chosen to reveal them unto babes. If so, Father, for so it seemed right in your sight. All things are delivered unto me of my father, Jesus said, and no man knows me the son except the father. Nor does anyone know the father except the son and the one to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Come unto me. 
Biakute no more. Oh, you who labor and are heavy oh, no laden. Adobu, no I no will give you rest. Debo, kwaribu, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And learn from me. For I am weak and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is yoke and my burden is light. Ibumo de There are three unfe. issues we want to quickly to uh, to note to here. I we want to note to the very bold invitation I in verse 28. Come Jesus me, O you who labor and are heavy laden, who are troubled by so many different difficulties in life. O you who are running here and there, looking for solutions, who find life a difficult thing to resolve. Come unto me. I will give you rest. We want to check the basis of Jesus asking us to come to him. And we want to establish what to rest he is coming to us. But our primary duty is to get to the conviction to take his yoke upon us and to tie our lives permanently to Jesus. To limit our lives to what Jesus has been sent to be in our lives, to do in our lives and to do through our lives. Our primary objective is to charge each one of us to come to the point of decision to abide in him. To limit all expectations of life, all understanding of life, and even the vision of life to who Jesus is, and what Jesus teaches, and the life that he is presenting unto us. We desire for each of us to decide to stop running here and there. To stop hoping to add something else to what he or she can collect from Jesus. To completely define his or her life in Christ. To tie his life or her life permanently to Christ and make Jesus the subject of all his learning and the object of his every ambition and the pursuit of the life that he must live. But first, did you note in verse 28 that Jesus said, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Come to me. If you get to me, you will be resolved. Aga eme kanso buke na. We receive settlement. Ega nata izi ke. There will be no more agitation, no more anxiety, no more fear, no more harassment in your life. Mbali mabu, basi we nine, mwemwe mgenye gi ezumi ke bia kutem. Now, on what grounds? Abu na, 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 do gene. A big Jesus uh, claim that he has all that we need in his own 
And that all that is needed for us to be in to to him. First, I would like us to note in first Corinthians chapter 15. Now, you note with me verse 45, the Bible said, so it is written, the first Adam, was a living soul. And last Adam was a quickening spirit. And the verse 47 said, the first man was of the earth. And so he is earthy. He is carnal. He is natural. He is carnal. He is natural. He is the Lord from heaven. And so he carries the glory of the heavenly life. He carries the victory of heaven. He operates according to I would like us to first note then that we must come unto him before we be settled. So we 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 before we can leave. Because Jesus is the last Adam. He is the second introduction of the man who comes the the Second man, as we saw in the creation man, the quickening spirit for our lives. He inherited the earthly image from the first Adam. We must deliberately reject the image that comes to us Adam. And abandon it and go to Christ Jesus. We receive Jesus Christ. the heavenly life. Which Bundu. was the original life that Bunke God intended man to bear. You will note in that same Ega first Corinthians 15 that the Bible said in verse 48 that is Dika ostere na ja we puta oyo bobo aja such a day also Dika ostere na ni gwe otu a kandi stere na ni gwe de kwa the image of the earth Dika iburu didi nka no aronku wa shall also be a otu aka ho ai ge bukwa udidi nke ni gwe intention of god that we must come unto Jesus so that we can bear the image of the heavenly. Without coming to him all the troubles having missed the right image to carry that I were happy with the first Adam we keep us growing here and there. Only when we come to the Only when we come to the Lord Jesus, are we able to find the Jesus, correct life in the in the natural image, which is the, the Bible calls the flesh, the, 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 the 
either please God or inherit his kingdom. I say clearly. We are already condemned. We are already judged. We are already missed it. And then we will miss it forever and ever. And our wickedness will know no end. Until we come to be there for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 When he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not therefore. That I am insisting with you. That you must be reborn after the image of Jesus. Who is the last Adam. In Romans chapter 8. There was a further emphasis in verses 7 and 8 of Romans chapter 8. The Bible said, because that life that is earthly, that is minding earthly things, that is focused on what to enjoy physically here on earth, the carnal mind, is enmity against God. The nature that was natural to man after the fall, that nature can never agree with God. Is enmity against God. It is not subject to the law of God. In fact, if it wanted to, it would be an effort in futility. As much as it troubles, so much more that we faith. So then, those who are of the flesh, they cannot please God. Because we need to be reborn in the image that Jesus has brought to us afresh. He says, come unto me. I will settle your problem. I will correct your problem from its very roots. I hope you I will restart your life on a different foundation. I will take you back to what God intended you to be even before Adam will have fallen. And I want to note with us that Jesus says, come unto me because he is the life man was designed to be particularly. Do you note that it was the life of Christ even then that the first Adam received originally? We had already read in John Chapter 1 and, and in verse 4, that, that word that was with God in the beginning and was God, that by him all things were made and without him was not anything made that was made. And that in him was life and that light was the light of men. God intended from the beginning that is the life of Jesus that every human Jesus. being will carry. Now, now if you Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and 27 where the Lord God said let us make man in our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air over the cattle over all the earth over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth and verse 27 said so God actually 
went to work and Chineke. he did as he said. He created Kukuru. man in his Oweke own image. In the image ya. of God created in him. Kukere and he created in this manner male Ukeya and female. When you compare that with the Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, which we read that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. And when you note that the same thing is brought forth in Hebrews chapter 1, that is telling us that Jesus is the three in the brightness of the glory of the Father. The express image of the Father's and that Jesus upholds all things by the word of power. And that when he approved our sins when he now came to carry the home of all the Jesus that name we know. He now returned back to heaven and has sat down on the right hand of Majesty on earth. Is it not curious? That when God was saying, let us make man in our own image. image. And the word of God confirmed that in fact that's what God did. He made man in his own image. And when Jesus is finally sent to redeem us, it was for us to bear his life that is in the image of God. For the Bible said he is the express image of the Father's person. Yeah. So when God created Adam in the garden, that life he put in Adam is the same life that God is bringing back to us to redeem us in Christ. Now what this tells us is that Jesus can declare boldly that look, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life by which the Father can recognize and receive any human being. No one come to the Father except by me. The father cannot discard his original concept of man. We have to keep man the way he conceived him. He had to pay dearly in the sacrifice of his dearly beloved son so that he can recreate man according to his original design. Therefore, if Jesus is not the way you are following in life. If Jesus is not the truth that governs your heart. If Jesus is not the life that you are living. God knows you as a counterfeit. When people call you a human being, he is looking around. Did they say he is man? And he is wondering he doesn't Carry what makes my man. We note therefore that it is very, very crucial for Jesus to say, I abandon the life you received to me. Receive a different place of life in me. Connect a different place Origin for me. Be recreated. Be reborn by me. Because we recreated. We are the image. Kiburu udidi nke chine ke ke chine ke chara kama dupuro nambo. We are the end up 
the Bible also tells us that of the Matthew chapter 11 that we have just read, where Jesus declared all things are delivered into my hand by my Father. You will recall our Colossians chapter 1, the first chapter of Colossians, after telling us in verse 15, Jesus is the image of the visible God. He is the first of every creature. Where all things are created that are heaven and on the earth. Whether they be visible or invisible. Whether they be visible or invisible. Mobike things were created with you. And Jesus not only Jesus the rightful man by whom God brought things into existence. The Father revealed to his son. And in verse 17, the Bible says, I am before all things, but in all things consist, which is outside of him, are found together. No wonder the world, the present world, is rejecting the life of the So scattered. Among those who are Christians, when you get Christ, concentrate on possessing the more and more living in the situation. really scattered. He is before all things and by all things. I am the Lord of the Father. Which in all We read the Hebrews. Chapter 1. Which I will remind you the verses 2 and 3. God who at the time times verse 1 said. And in time as minus the father. By the prophet. He has in these last days. No give us in there. Oh God I hope you sit in a baraya. Who is this his son? Oh yeah boy baraya. The one. Whom he has appointed for the one by whom he has appointed And he is the one who is the brightness of the glory. The one who opposed the word of God. Jesus, it pleased the Father to commit the control, the government of all things. He determines the beginning and the end of every being. Every throne, every domain, every principality, all the beings that have physical bodies. And the beings ah, are no, ah, visible, 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 
Hani ne du nuguru akaya. Ke tete kwa ndi Philippa isi ke mbo. Akwa nsa we sini hinka. Chine ke wewe ni kweye nunebe kachasi ye nine nubu Jesus. Wenye ya hanke kachasi ya hanine. Kanala ha Jesus ki pere nine we buona la. Ye nine nke dine nigwe. Nke dino wa. Nke di kwa no buru wa. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. This is what the Father looked to be glorified. His appetite to be seen is the glory of the Father. The Father is just happy that all things be under the control of the Son. The Son Opara, who upholds all things by the grace of His power. By the grace of His power, we are all things. By the grace of His power, we are all things. By the grace of His power, we are all things. By the grace of His power, we are all things. Ka chine ke zite rai. We ruo opokoro ano aro. Na fwa mwa ya ho na mwa ingwa ke bu meri nke Nazareth. Owe si na fwa meri. We mu potaya. Kowe we rentu wa nke sere ne ni gwe. Kowe mbito u didi am aho mato aho. Ke chine ke chara kwa chi ano wa. Through who bring forth biologically, this time, 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 this Dika uche sine kesi de. When Jesus said, "I will give you rest," sine kesi mge nye gezi mike. Which we read in verse twenty-eight. Kae gorona moku ira abwa nasato. Oki ni kani kumaka. Actually, rest from whatever is troublesome. Iha buna ane kubu na labu ki inwe ezumike. Ni abuna kene yegi sobu. Mara nke nke katago dunke. Bono ibu aranka nke kwensu na jomo na madunko we. Nkai ketere naka adam. Ai sere naka adam. A mado che nka adama hon. Yo ku nine. Abu bu anu nine. Ibu eru nine. So mu nine nke nto anke bia kwa si woray. Abu nina moray. Si tena adam nke dara adam. Nina isi kwa naka nina na iha. Ndi nke. Ndi nke nwere nwa kuno bifo kwa isu kari adam. Ani hino ufwadi he nka imere. We bayena nso budo tuwa. Osi. Bia kuse nu. Nyo ngunu di na ato buo ngunu. Noru nge nyu nesu mike. Nandi korenti nke abuwa isi nkise. Ika mkwa neba hon. Sayin. Okuchine ke wesi. That na. We are persuaded. Ay bunda na rugide sike. Ay no kwa ne baby si. One man died for all. If Jesus was sent a man so that he will arrange our death in himself and he successfully accomplished it. If he died to offer us the benefit of his dying, then our own death our share in that death okay, is guaranteed. If one died for all, then we are all, all dead. dead. Or then all died. And because we died, and because he was buried, and he rose again from the dead to offer us 
newness of life to offer us justification to offer us redemption because he has risen so that in him we can have newness of life we can be risen with him and be seated with him in the places of victory in the heaven spiritually verse 17 now said Therefore, if anyone I'm at all be in Christ, Christ, no matter the background of uh, bondages, of yokes, of curses, of uh, horrible oppressions of the devil, that life may have inherited and may have provoked personally in his own life before. Since the life that was carrying all of these, Jesus ends it at the cross. And he offers us his own life in their place by his resurrection. If anyone at all be in Christ, he is a new creator. Old things are passed away. They have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In Christ, we receive rest from him because he completely disconnects us from all the corruption and the troubles and condemnation. And so and the na, mami, beni, neni, beni, that we inherited from the first Adam. He defines our bu. inheritance in himself. If any man be in Christ, that means you also. Whatever be your old story, the point of your accepting what Christ has done for Christ was it stands now. He also delivers us particularly from the yoke, the power of sin, and the burden of his guilt. Even before Jesus would be born, and visited Joseph, and announced that when this Mbe. child will be born, Aga he should be called Aga Jesus, Aya, Jesus because the primary assignment he is coming ne to na be always is to deliver his people bo from e their sins. And so the Bible keeps insisting I on the fact so that well, see, the Son of Man was manifested to take away sin. He was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. We heard in the message how that Jesus had to take the nature of man to make it possible for him to correctly represent us and receive upon himself all of our situation and to go to that cross and to die and to die and to die and to die he has spoiled principality oh, of power. By his death, he has robbed the devil of any claim oh, to a blessing in the world. He will be seen. By his death, he has delivered us. He delivered us from the powers of darkness and translated us into his kingdom. That's what Jesus has done. 
And so, yeah, as we begin to conclude, did you notice in verse e of Matthew chapter 11, na, that Jesus said, have you accepted and understood Jesus as, e that you don't have any alternative to e living to fulfill your purpose as a to accomplishing your goal to just be the correct creature God you will come to me. Now, when you come to me, plan to permanently Baby, stay. Plan to abide with you. 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 To abide with since all you would have to become you will find in me. He said, so take my yoke upon you. Of course, you take your yoke. People immediately think of me. No, no, this is this particular yoke is the yoke, yoke of security. Abu yo kun ke iji we chekwegi shield you permanent Abu iji we buchitegi because i'm not a rough driver Ni na abu imu oyela anyo ugbala agara agara so as to asim gi were ndugi bi akenye na ebe mo nwa mna ka ngwe mebe garu abu mo edu mala na obi no nye wetere nwe anala na agbanye nka ye were mi yeni na kereke na kam I can never ever change. Because I can never need the creation to become anything else. I can never ever change. 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 I can never ever who I am in the hand of the Father that has placed me in glory in at his right hand forever, forever. forever. Learn of me so that you live the same life the that the Father that is so high and holy and honorable so glorious and powerful and powerful and powerful and powerful Learn of me. If you have come to me and have come to the life, the only life you were supposed to be here in the first place, if I am a man. Having collected it, Having collected it, learn of me so that you will continue to break in the life. It's in Colossians chapter 2. That I am going to include all of this now. You note that in Colossians e two, na aku kala si singa bo. Ole kumaka Jesus. Verse three said, "In him we are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge." I couldn't even is there anything in order in this situation? He is found in Jesus. In verse 6, he said, Therefore, as you have received the Lord, Jesus Christ, walk in him. Live your life completely defined by him. Let him be the confines of the way you think, whatever you say, and whatever you do, walk or conduct yourself in him. He said, be rooted 
rooted and built up in him be established in your faith in him as you have been taught abounding daily with thanksgiving. And verses 9 and 10 said because in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In him you have access to operate the fullness of the Godhead in a physical frame. And so you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Can I invite you to take the decision to take the yoke of Jesus upon you? The instrument called yoke is usually tied mostly on animals maybe the yoke of oxen which means two cows together tied together to in everything together to operate in them and combine their forces together never never to be separated one from the other. The yoke is an instrument that ties one life to another. Jesus said, Jesus says, my yoke upon your life to be. Now, understanding that it is in him that all fullness dwells. That the Father has already decreed in his own power to be under the hand of Jesus. Understanding that Jesus is Jesus caring and so passionate and satisfying and he will come down no aga wada tawere u didi nke mado ko we hasiemu kan we yara ibonye bumno bi chineke na ntu amara ntu ebi ebi gaga repo wata nke no bu site ni ibi ibu dinke christ kan ga bu mado zuroke where else are you planning to go again ole ebo bu no so ina acho iga what else are you looking for Jesus is offering you the most comprehensive activity for your life. I would rather tie my life to him and be honored for all risks in time and in eternity following him. How about you? How long will you remain unattended? How long will you remain Will you continue to experience yourself to the anxieties of your life? Take this yoke upon you and experience rest. I want you to make that decision as we pray now. Who is saying, Lord, I don't want to escape from your hand. Try me to be roaming about. I'm 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 in the day I made that decision, that was in the day of 1978, I had to tell Jesus, 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 don't because I have a understanding. I give you liberty to compel me to follow. In the day I took the decision, 
But Simon were in Bethia. I didn't even know the situation be coming across. Oh no, do get back with Simon. I want to testify that they did not give me many times. Now you go and have not put away and not to see. As you raise the hand, can you just stand? Because I will pray with you now. Because I will pray with you now. Because I will pray with you now. Father, I would like to give you praise and bless you because Jesus is a comprehensive solution to our life. By him, we correct our lives. We correct our origin. We have a fresh beginning. I know what my little home is delivered. 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 Ah, we are not going to be putting that yoke upon our necks. Sinye yoke gano no no ai. That it is ever very far. Pubi o kuna ya meko siyike. Kai we gani rune so gini yeni na ine me. Aine kene gichi ne kene nisa we merai. Ina ha Jesus Christ kai bere. Amen.